What is going on, Bread Gang? How are you guys doing today? I am literally picking this video up as soon as I finish the other one. If you guys remember, we just put 5% window tint on the Silverado. Huge shout out to Zach and Cody at Exact Window Tinting. Leave some comments below if you think they need a YouTube channel. Their names literally are Zach and Cody and they need to make the street life of Zach and Cody. So leave a comment below, hit the like button if you think they should do that. But we just put 5% window tint on the truck and it's time to leave and it's time to see what it looks like. It's Currently it's raining and it's pitch black outside. So we're gonna hop in the truck and see what it looks like. Oh man. That's freaking dark. Oh, holy crap, I don't like this. <laughs> I hadn't sat in it yet. This is, ah, uh, why did I do this? At least I can put the windows down. Wrong window. That's freaking dark. <laughs> Dude, it's so dark in here. Look at, oh my goodness, why did we do this? It's so dark outside. Look how dark it is. Look at the difference that, right? Look at, the, oh my gosh. I gotta make sure I get out of here without hitting the tire. Look how dark that is. I look on the camera, you can't see anything except for the wow. Holy crap. This maybe this wasn't a good idea. Half that's open and then half it's like you can see totally fine out the window, but then that's that a bad idea. Let me I'm gonna put the hold on, I'm gonna see. <laughs> Dude, look at oh my goodness. It's honestly, it looks a lot worse on camera, but I'm gonna drive around a little bit and see how it goes. Right. I'll see y'all later. Right. I, I'll let you know when I get home, okay? <laughs> All right, let's not be stupid. Let's dim that down a little bit. Turn my windshield wipers on so I can see a little bit. I mean, in the light, oh, that's a speed bump. I mean, it's don't get me wrong, it's really dark back here. I mean, that's a random truck sitting back there. That's gonna be a, a light on the side of a building. You can't even hardly. Yeah, if you're not paying attention with this, this, is, this isn't this is good. In some cases, it's gonna be really bad, but going through the drive-through at Taco Bell in a minute might be kind of difficult. No, this isn't gonna be too bad. I'm definitely gonna get pulled over with this though. Let's, let's go to the main road and check it out. The rain's making a little bit, making it a little bit worse too. That's pretty bad though. I mean, that's, that's pretty freaking dark. I don't know how I'm going to go through the drive-thru over here. This is, let's look at the, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Look, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to Taco Bell. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck. A few moments later. What is going on today, Bread Gang? Ugh, crap. How are you guys doing? It is freaking cold right now. It's 37 degrees in my truck. I just hopped in the truck. I'm actually sitting at work. I'm about to go get some breakfast before I start my day. And I wanna bring you guys along to actually be able to give you guys a good representation of what it's like to drive this truck around with 5% windshield tint. Let me, before I jump into the video, let me make sure it's known that you guys know driving around with 5% windshield tint is not a good idea. It's not something that I plan on keeping. It was just for to do a couple videos with and then I'm gonna take it off. I might go back to like 35 or something, but I definitely would not recommend 5% windshield tint to anybody. I've been getting a lot of messages about, man, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. Don't get me wrong, I do like it, but it's it's not safe, it's not legal. It's uh, I need to get rid of it at some point. Huge shout out to Zach at Exact Window Tinting for giving me the opportunity to do this. Me and him are gonna get together and completely redo the tint on the truck at some point. But let's head out, let's go get something to eat. I am really hungry. It's really cold, so that's why I got... Oh, by the way, if you guys are watching this, I have your, your jacket, so let's get this bread hoodies. If you want one, DM me on Instagram. I have got them in, and anybody that's ordered them, I have them here as well. They will be getting shipped out to you very, very soon, as soon as I can get everything together and get them shipped out. So be patient. Thank you guys for being patient. I know it's been a minute, but I'm getting your stuff shipped out to you. But without any more talking, let's run and get something to eat. If you guys saw my last video, you saw that we, if you guys saw my last video, you will know that we did a little taste, a two minute restaurant review at this place called Come and Get It. 
and that's where we're headed again. I mean, we're, we're really about this this life. I really go get breakfast there in the morning. So I'm, I'm gonna make this short little drive and I'll see you guys there. So I got I got my breakfast, thank God. But I do want to. The good thing about oh, oh this is it's a rough little parking lot on it. So I want to give you guys a little kind of view of what it's like to drive five percent during the day. It is a little bit of an overcast day, so it's not going to be the the brightest outside. But I mean, with five percent ten, it's not going to be bright anyway. So this is. This is, I'm sitting at a light waiting to turn. So this is, this is what it looks like. You got 5%, 5%. When I roll the window down a little bit, I mean, it's, it's bright outside. And that really shows the contrast between the two when you do that. When you go up, it doesn't look as dark, but I mean, it's, during the day, it's not bad because there's a lot of light outside. And I'm gonna show you guys later on tonight after work what it really looks like. And you guys got a, a little preview of that at the very beginning of this video as well right right when i was leaving the shop but i mean it's it's pretty dark it looks like it's 6 30 7 o'clock all day long when i'm in this truck just because of how dark thing i will tell you guys is i'm more afraid to drive this truck during the day than i am at night at night it's not going to be as easy for cops to see that it's five percent i mean it's dark they're not going to notice it as much but at night it's freaking dark in here i mean it's it's ridiculous, and, I, and I, I'm gonna show you guys in the second half of this video, but I'm a little more scared to drive it during the day because cops can, can glance over and tell really quick that it's 5%. So, I, I'm thankfully, I work a lot, and I'm not out driving around during the day as much as I used to, but it just, I get really scared, but eventually I'm gonna make that video. I got a lot of comments about next video you got pulled over and the next video took the tent off because I got pulled over it's gonna happen I, the longer I keep it the more inevitable that I am gonna get pulled over and I'm just gonna have to deal with it and I'll probably end up either making a video of me ripping the tent off as the cop pulls me over or something like that. I'm gonna do something funny with it so stay tuned for that it's it's almost inevitable at this point so I mean it's not ridiculous it, it is ridiculous but it's not I don't know I'm happy with it during the day because it's it's the uh, um, as somebody put it on Instagram it's the mind your own business tent is what I have right now and I'm, I'm okay with it I mean it's it's not too bad I mean them over there they can't see me in here i'm sorry she can't see me uh, i don't care what how hard she looks she can't see me right now which is okay with me but half the time i can't see other people even through my tent anyway especially at night so it's it gets kind of sketchy sometimes but um the the daytime is really not what you guys worried about i know that so i'm gonna skip to nighttime when i get off work it's gonna be really freaking cold probably colder than 37 so wish me luck i will see you guys at the end of the day stay tuned it's gonna get interesting. It's freaking cold. Look at, look at this, look at this. Can you see it? Nope, I guess not. Anyway, I just, whoa, my lights are all in my face right now. I just got off work, it's starting to rain a little bit, and I wanna give you guys a good representation of what it looks like at night to really have 5% windshield tint. Um, it's, it looks a lot brighter out right now than it really is because there's a lot of lights coming down on this area of the property. So I'm gonna hop in the truck and let you guys see what it looks like in the truck at, at, at nighttime. And it's raining too. So first of all, first of all, hopping in the truck, it's, it's, it's freaking dark. I mean, it, it looks a lot lighter up there than it really is, but it's, it's freaking dark in here. You hop in, that's what it looks like. And you guys saw how light it was in there. It looks like 12 o'clock at night right now. And hold on, I don't have the, look, I'll open the door. Look at that. Look, <laughs> that's so ridiculous. You can't see anything out of this truck. And when all the lights go out, it's so freaking dark in here. When I'm, when I'm driving at night, I have to turn the brightness on all my gauges down. I have to turn the brightness on my phone down and everything. If not, the brightness from that becomes too bright and I can't see what's in front of me. So let me just be the first to tell you that 5% windshield tint is not a good idea but it is kind of fun for the time being. I will be taking it off at some point. This disclaimer, it's not a good idea. Don't keep 5% windshield tint. Just, I just want to tell you guys that right now before you get any ideas, but it is pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's the mind your own business tent from what somebody said. And like I had said previously in this video, it's, this is different. 
something that I feel like some people should experience. This is actually a really cool little scenery right there. I kind of like that. But let me let me get out real quick because this is freaking dark. And you guys can see behind me. I mean, it's there's no looking into that. It literally is pitch black. You can't see the outline of the seats. You can't see anything. I mean, that's pitch dark in there. I, I'm really surprised that I haven't gotten pulled over with that yet. But I mean, only only time will tell. What's the moral of the story today? Uh, what is it? Cut. Don't do 5% windshield. Oh yeah, don't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I would show you guys what it looks like driving around with it, but that is literally the safest thing I un. Unsafe. Not safe. It's the unsafest thing I could do. Even. I lied. I'm gonna let you guys see what it's like to drive with 5% windshield tint. If y'all can see in front of me, that's a stop sign and a stop, a, a stop sign and a, and a street light right there that you can't see, and it's five feet in front of me. Look, let me open the door. Let me open the door and show you guys. Look at. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Even though I did it earlier in the video, during the day is not as bad. It's just kind of it's just kind of dark in there. At night, especially with it raining, it gets really dangerous, and I do not recommend that to anybody. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the video off right there, especially because my hands are starting to get really cold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this will be one of the last times I film with the 5% wind chill tent, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to go like and subscribe. Go subscribe to Jordan's channel as well. Have you hit a th 100 subscribers yet? Yeah. Stop what you're doing and go subscribe. I'm gonna wait one second. Now go subscribe to him. If you didn't already, I'm gonna give you one more chance. My phone's ringing now. Who is it? Is it Bay? Is it Bay? It's freaking cold. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. Again, it means the world to me. Uh, I didn't really didn't ever think. I'm finishing this video off the same day that I uploaded my very first video, November 14th, a year ago today. And it, it just really takes me back and I'm really grateful for where we're at. And I can't wait to see where we go with this channel. So make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Follow This Wide Bowtie on Instagram. Her link is in the description below. Make sure to check out the Tahoe Build Series playlist on YouTube. We've got awesome stuff coming. We just ordered probably about $1,000 worth of stuff for the Tahoe. Shh. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, look. Ooh. Hey. Let's get this bread. Get this bread. Are you going to focus on me? Or... <laughs>